this is the final result when I started I had 84 kilograms and now I'm weighing 81 kilograms I lost 3 kilograms in 30 days what to eat to lose weight on the one punch man training challenge many of you who watched my 30 day transformation on the one punch man challenge asked me what my diet was so in this video i'm going to share with you what did i eat on this 30 day challenge what type of diet to follow to lose weight with this one punch man challenge but before we start i'm going for a run because it's day 45 of the one punch man challenge i'm continuing because i love it it helps me improve my stamina as i told you in my last video go check it out so let's get started and we'll talk after the run i just finished my 10k run in the morning now I'm at the gym, I have 3 hours of uh, kickboxing Muay Thai, I didn't eat anything, I only drank uh, some uh, black coffee, I followed the intermittent fasting, so in the afternoon I, after I finish my training I will show what I'm going to eat and what type of diet I follow on the One Push Man Training Challenge and every day I follow this type of diet. just finished my morning workout now I'm drinking my protein smoothie after this I'm going to show you what I will eat for my first meal this was my first meal after the protein shake I break my fast with a protein shake full of vitamins and uh, you know proteins that I need after the intense workouts that I do in the morning the 10 kilometers run the three hours of kickboxing uh, Muay Thai trainings and uh, I like to break the fast with the protein shake because it helps uh, rejuvenate me to recover faster from the trainings in the morning and now I had the scrambled eggs with some ham that's how I like to break my fast I, I have around 17 18 hour window where I don't eat anything because it helps me you know uh, train harder in the morning because on an empty stomach I train really good it works good for me I don't say it works uh, best for everyone but it works good for me and now I'm preparing to go again to the gym because I have trainings uh, with my little kids then I have my own training I'm preparing for a fight now in one point I'm going to have a fight so stay tuned because I'm going to show you what I'm going to have to dinner and I'm going to explain you what to eat to lose weight on this training challenge so i'm preparing i don't have a lot of time so let's get it on and now the dinner we have some steak with some broccoli and some mushrooms i love it the best part of the day it's the dinner when i eat the biggest meal because now i'm relaxed now i can uh, unstress myself and indulge in every bite that i eat in the in the afternoon when i'm coming home from trainings i have to eat something not to you know get that much full because i'm going to, again back to the gym and i don't want to be stuffed that's why uh, it's good to train every day because you know when to eat the biggest meal and when to not eat the biggest meal what to eat that will make you feel great so this is what i'm going to talk with you about what to eat to lose weight with this uh, training challenge with the mind punch man training challenge i cut down on sugar because sugars are really bad for us and i replace them with natural sweet like fruits in season fruits watermelon apricots uh, prunes now are in season here in Romania I like to eat this type of uh, fruits but I eat them right before my training because the sugar that I'm taking from the fruits will help me uh, be energized in the training to you know make my trainings hard and tough because every training I like to to give all my power in the gym I want to leave all my power in the gym I want to come home and be tired nap in the afternoon and relaxed like now in the evening I'm relaxed I can stay watch some Netflix because I earned some 
Netflix episodes. I would like to see what uh, type of episodes you like on Netflix, what type of uh, TV shows you like on Netflix. Comment down below. So, cut down on sugar, refined sugar, refined carbs, get them away. Uh, I'm mostly keto, not all the time, one or two times per week I eat a lot of carbs because I want to replenish my, my carb, uh, my glycogen stores to say like that. But the most important thing that I do every day is intermittent fasting. I have around 18 hour window fast because it helps me be better, be stronger, be faster, be, be more energized in the morning when I don't eat, when I'm doing my trainings. But if you cannot do that, find the right time where to do your intermittent fasting. This is the simplest way to lose weight with this challenge. If you do intermittent fasting and you eat natural foods, natural whole foods like, you know, uh, meats, eggs, veggies, fruits, you will lose weight fast and you don't even have to focus on calories. I didn't focus on any calories restrictions in this uh, period of time. I ate normal like I eat every day like now and I lost weight. Now I'm currently at 80 kilograms. I lost even the, that one kilogram in uh, like 15 days. Natural. I'm more energized, I have more energy, as I told you, I'm preparing for a fight, so you don't have to stress yourself with uh, your calorie counting or this or that. Use intermittent fasting and cut down on sugar and refine carbs and you will see results from week to week. Don't expect to see results in one week or two weeks. Do it every day and don't focus on the results, focus on your everyday progress and you will see results, I guarantee you. I do this with all my clients that I coach and I see amazing results day by day, week by week, month by month with my clients. These two things, if you do intermittent fasting, cut down on sugar and refined carbs like sweets, juices, uh, refined bread and that kind of bullshit pasta and everything as I told you I eat carbs like uh, maybe a rice two times per week but very rarely I eat when I want to replenish my glycogen stores I eat bananas and peanut butter that's simple that's my that's my my carbs to say it when I want to eat these are the two ways that you can apply it right now that will help you lose weight on this one punch man training challenge i will talk in my next video about overtraining how to avoid overtraining so don't forget to subscribe to my channel because these things are important to not overtrain don't forget to subscribe like share it and let's get on let's become stronger be strong be unstoppable